firing signal. Friendship 7 awaits its pilot. T minus 30 seconds and counting. And the pilot has waited three years for this day. Three long, arduous years of study, of training, of waiting. Ten, nine. And now he's ready. His name is John Glenn. Major John Glenn. Space pioneer John Glenn. Godspeed, John Glenn. Well, first orbit around, you're just sort of ooing and aahing at everything that you're up there, and you're going about five miles a second. And so it doesn't take very long to get across the Atlantic and across Africa, and then uh, it was when they started to get into the terminator of the light and going on the night side. And uh, you could see the moon that night, and it was just a great experience all the way. It was good from another way, too, not only that we had made some advances and we were proud of that, but people really got a, it was, the patriotic feeling and the flags and the kids and and uh, things like that. It was a very moving, it was very, very moving experience. And see just thousands, hundreds of thousands of flags and kids and everybody excited about the country and that was very moving. I don't have anything that matches being part of a team that's devoted to its purpose and you're there with a group of people all trained and all working toward that same end. There's nothing beats that kind of a feeling. You have a certain mission, it's important for the country, and you're working with a team that's devoted to one end, and everybody in that, from the secretaries to the guys driving the delivery trucks are devoted to one end, and that's what you're working toward every day. That's a feeling that's, that uh, you just can't duplicate any other way than being part of that team. You don't have to necessarily be the one that's out on the pointy end of that booster going up there either. John Glenn was an extraordinary man. He was a distinguished test and fighter pilot, an astronaut, a senator, and a husband and father. And he never gave up, even showing the younger guys how to fly when he was 77 years old. As the first American to orbit the Earth, Glenn exemplified the American character, that we are explorers, we are adventurers. That's part of our character as Americans. It used to be in our history, we had a westward frontier. Glenn helped define the new frontier, upward. And he inspired an entire generation of dreamers to dare to land among the stars. So as we think about the immense challenges ahead, climate change, U.S. leadership in aerospace, getting along with each other, and inspiring an Artemis generation of engineers and scientists and mathematicians and technicians, Let's find strength and inspiration in the words of the late Senator John Glenn. And I quote, we are more fulfilled when we are involved in something larger than ourselves.